We are live at the Amway Arena in Orlando as we get set for the Orlando Magic looking to win this one at home against the visiting Portland Trailblazers. Hi, everybody. Along with Steve Kerr, I'm Marv Albert. We're getting ready for the opening tip. But first, let's take a look at tonight's starting five brought to you by T-Mobile. Who's in your fave five? All right, Steve, what does Portland have to do here tonight? Barb, I think they have to keep Rashard Lewis off balance. He's a matchup nightmare. He's so good shooting the ball from the perimeter, but he'll also use that 6'10 frame down on the block to get easy jump hooks. Carter looking for the opening off the pick. And Travis Outlaw called for the foul. That's here Nelson, Marvin, you, you don't think he would be that strong because he's small in stature, but he is deceptively powerful, has the ability to get into the lane, use his strength and speed to get by people, and he's a better finisher than you'd expect as well. And hits both. Aldridge comes out to set the pick on the penetration. Handled by Howard. Or if you've got to finish that play. When you get into the paint, you get that kind of penetration, you have to come away with some points. Rashard Lewis with the duck off the nice feed. Odin looking for a position in the paint. And Jameer Nelson looking for the steal, and he's called an orthodox point guard, Marv. He uses tremendous strength and quickness to attack the rim. Doesn't spend a lot of time on the perimeter shooting jump shots, but really loves to get into the paint, create scoring opportunities for his teammates, or get to the free throw line. And he makes them both. Offensive foul on Carter. Steve, I don't know about that call. Well, certainly, it is one of the toughest calls for an official. Yeah, they're going to get him for a charge there, Mar, but you, you can see that it could have gone either way, probably. Roy on the quick release. Pass to Nelson. with a quick release. He fires from downtown. Howard on the rebound. A minute and a half remaining in the first. Magic up by two. Petrus using the pick. Shot clock at seven. Mikael Petrus scores! There was contact there. No foul being called, but what a bucket. Aldrich on a catch and shoot. Rebound by Petrus. Lewis popping out to set the screen. No, he missed it! Well, they got everything they wanted except the points, Marv. Good penetration. They get something going towards the hoop. They just can't finish. And Andre Miller able to lay it home. That's great defense, Marv, but that's too good. Nice touch around the hoop. This club really wants to finish strong in this quarter, Marvin. Here's a two-for-one opportunity they can take advantage of. Petrus wants the ball. Shoots for three. And Michael Petrus able to knock it down. So that's their first three of the night. One second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. The pass to Miller. Roy got it down low. The Blazers crashing the board. A little extra on that one. Petrus again from downtown. So at the end of the first quarter, the Magic lead by three.
we just saw a well-played first quarter. What are the coaches talking about it at this moment? Well, Marv, I thought both teams played it pretty straight defensively in that first quarter. I would look for some adjustments, especially at the defensive end, maybe some double teams or possibly a little zone. Carter trying to free himself up. Delivery to Lewis. Yes. Steve, it is so rare to see a player of that size have such a good shooting touch. And Mark, he shoots the ball really from above his head, a nice high release. So regardless of who's covering him, he can get a shot off any time. Howard for the block shot. And a three-second violation is called. Steve, what do you think? Uh, good call. I know you're constantly checking out those three-second violations. I thought it was a little quick, Marv. It looked like he was only in there for maybe 2.9, and all of a sudden, you know, the ref calls it, and we're going the other way. It's a, a rare call. You don't see that often. The Trailblazers control with a gorgeous move. Marv, offensive rebounding is about quickness and anticipation. It's a terrific play there. to Howard. Outlaw able to hustle it down. And Andre Miller with the assist. Nelson with the bounce pass. And Dwight Howard with the miss. And the pass intercepted. One minute remaining in the second quarter. The score is tied. Nelson on a quick release from downtown. The pass to Miller. Aldridge coming out on the screen. by Lewis. Marv, you always like to have the lead at halftime. With the score tied here, this club has a chance for a two-for-one. An excellent opportunity to finish the half strongly. Roy with an excellent look. Greg Oden taking it to the rim. Delivery to Petrus. Here's Carter. Outlaw on a quick release. Well at the half, the Magic lead by one. at the top of their game in that first half. Yeah, they were great offensively, Marv. They really developed a nice groove. I thought the ball movement was good. The spacing was there. So they've got to continue to get those offensive sets running smoothly here in the third quarter. Pass to Nelson going for three. Lewis able to keep it alive. Can't afford those types of shots in a close game, Marv. Every possession counts. You've got to make the defense work. What was he thinking about on that pass? Looked like his teammate wasn't even ready for that pass, Marv. I think he just threw it away. Looked like a lack of communication to me. Lewis has been scoring in bunches here tonight. Well, we're going to get another look at this shot here, Marv. You can see just how confident he is with his offensive game. He's had another good night. Ends up with it. Another defensive stop. You can feel the momentum changing a little bit here, Marv. 
Aldridge looking to get the ball down low. Good job by Petrus. Aldridge to the rim. Yes. One on one. I don't know if he can be stopped down there, Marv. You see the nice finish around the hoop. Defense may have to bring the double team. Nelson gets it inside. The magic control. Well, they've gained the advantage in this game, Marv, by being very sharp offensively, but that's a lack of focus. You've got to finish that play. The pass to Miller. Outlaw beats him off the dribble. Now that's unfortunate there, Marv. Trailing, they've got to take advantage of every opportunity they have. Easy shot that's missed, point blank. Howard looking to shake free. Delivery to Carter and scores. Mark, right, I think they've done a nice job tonight offensively running their sets. They look very effective. They're finding the open shooter. They've developed a good groove here tonight. Outlaw on a quick release. Marvin, a close game. Every possession counts. That's a mental error. Quick shot with plenty of time on the clock. Carter got it down low. And it's good. Howard is two for four from the field. Boy, that was great execution on that set right there, Marvin. They've been doing it all night. That's how they've built this lead. Really, really sound offense. Controlled by Carter. Excellent job defensively challenging the shot there, Marv. Half minute remaining in the third. Magic up by seven. And Jameer Nelson comes up short. Two second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Roy with a crossover. Nice box out by Howard. Lewis on a quick release from downtown. So after three, the Magic lead by seven. Fourth quarter, neither team able to take command. What are you looking for here in the fourth? Well, in a close game like this one, Marv, it, it, oftentimes it's the little things. Who can take a charge? Who can come up with loose balls? If you can get to the line or maybe get out in transition, get an easy basket. Those kinds of plays could be the difference. Aldrich penetrating, and he puts it down. It's a beautiful shot there. Nelson gets the pick. And the pass play broken up. Aldrich again and rebounded by Howard. What great defense. Everybody active and alert, helping each other out. That's what wins ball games, Marv. Howard comes out to set the pick. Here's Nelson. Very ill-advised shot, Marv, but really it's a result of a very poor offensive execution on that possession. Roy with the runner. They're going to extend their defense full court here, Mark, trying to get some ball pressure. Well, I like the fact that they're attacking the paint area, Mark, but you've got to make those shots down the stretch if you're going to win the ball game. Aldrich rebound. That's pretty good offense, Mark. There, good spacing, good ball movement. They get all the way to the rim. Can't finish the play though. Roy again. knocked out of his hands. The Blazers will get it back. You know, we see that pretty often. Our guys uh, maybe stepping backwards off of a three-point shot or, or maybe driving baseline and stepping on that line. It, it's a little tougher than it looks sometimes to keep your foot out of that out-of-bounds area. Aldrich calling for the ball. 
Here's one. Petrus able to reach for him. One minute remaining in this fourth quarter. Magic up by five. Fires. And Rashard Lewis not able to hit. Portland looking to talk it over. What you want to do in this situation. Starting to size up his man. To the rim. Brandon Roy with amazing control. Gorgeous finish. Very difficult attempt there, Mark, but he gets the ball to go in. Pass to Howard. Fires. And Rashard Lewis misses. Portland takes a timeout. Mark, every coach is... Down to 30 seconds to go in the fourth. Magic up by three. Well, they got what they wanted, Marv, a shot in the lane, but you've got to convert those at this stage of the game. And LaMarcus Aldridge intentionally fouled him. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Make it a two-possession game. Second free throw right on, so it's a four-point lead. Portland is looking to draw something up. Oh, that is a costly turnover. No choice here. They had to stop the clock, so they give the foul. Petrus at the line, first time tonight. When you're trying to finish up a game, close it out the right way, you've got to be able to step to the line and knock down two. two at the free throw line it's now a five-point deficit looks for the screen Roy with that change of pace dribble puts it up box out by Lewis oh he fouled him intentionally and that'll mean free throws Lewis at the line for the first time on both and this game may be out of reach seven point lead the ball cuts loose time has run out of this one the magic have won the final score is 27 to 20. so for steve kerr and our entire crew this is marv albert saying so long from the amway arena in orlando